first of the month, and that, of course, means that rent is due for so many people. But with the outbreak putting so many out of work, analysts believe that 10 percent of tenants, and this would be a nationwide figure, will not be able to cover their rent. NBC4's I-Team consumer investigator Randy Mack joins us live right now with an answer to rent questions that you might have. Randy? Chuck, there are three main questions that L.A. renters continue to ask the I-Team, and we turned to an L.A. City Council member for some answers. Take a look at this. It's a contract, a promise to pay rent that Artemis and Silmar received from her landlord. This is one of several tactics L.A. Council member David Rue says landlords use to manipulate tenants. He says he's cracked down on after about 50 landlords. There are those few bad seeds out there. I mean, when I say bad seeds, I mean, they're just... It's shameless. So can a landlord ask you to sign a repayment plan, prove you're unemployed, prove you don't have rent money? The answer is no. Tenants have one simple obligation. The only thing required by law if you're affected by the coronavirus pandemic is you have to tell your landlord within seven days um, of your rent being due or after it's due um, that you can't pay rent. <laughs> Many tenants say a rent forbearance isn't good enough. They want rent forgiveness. Will it happen? Rue says the city doesn't have the power to make that call, but the federal government does. He's advocating for rent forgiveness in an upcoming bailout package. Most uh, Angelinos and American families will not be able to get themselves out of that debt. And that's where we need rent and mortgage forgiveness so we could actually uh, pull out these families uh, from having this debt that that's going to be inescapable. Tenants are also asking, can landlords raise rent right now? That answer is more complicated. Legally, the city did freeze rents for tenants who live in buildings built before 1978. But there's a legal tussle over whether it can do the same for newer buildings. This shouldn't even be a political or a legal argument. It should be a common sense argument. People are struggling. Now, if you're an L.A. renter and, there are, and you are struggling right now, there are some resources out there for you. You can actually find them on our website at NBCLA.com.